yeah. Tennis, hockey, you name it, we got it. Let's do it. The Memphis State Tigers continuing to click tonight at the Great Pyramid. Memphis State in a shootout winning. The Golden Eagles go down. And the highlights from the Great Pyramid this evening. Memphis State with three from Rodney Newsom here. The long gun goes. Southern Mississippi falls down early. Falls down at the half, 38 to 30. And it's over with. Watch this, All-Universe star Anthony Hardaway coming out of nowhere. 25 points, 9 assists, and 8 rebounds for Anthony. And Kelvin Allen comes in with the jam. The final Memphis State, 95-82 over Southern Mississippi. Next up, Sunday, the Tigers will play DePaul in a game you'll see live here on Channel 13 beginning at 12.30. That's this Sunday. Well, Channel 13's Eric Perkins is ready with our post-game report. We link up live with Eric at the Great Pyramid now. It appears the Tigers have some momentum, Eric. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you take MSU, you turn it lopsided, you got USM, and that's kind of the way tonight's game was. Pretty lopsided. MSU in control uh, from pretty much the outset. Joining me now live, uh, assistant coach Tom Schubert. Tom, thanks for joining us. Sure. You're welcome, Eric. Ta talk to us about this game. Obviously, uh, the tempo was Memphis State's uh, from the get-go. Well, very much so. We had a great team effort tonight. We got a lot of people in in the first half. We played together as a team, and we're playing with great defensive intensity, and that's been the key to our victories lately. Yeah, really just swarming defensively. Very much so. You know, whenever we stay focused and play together as a team and move the ball offensively and we're patient on our shot selection, we're an excellent ball club and can beat anybody in the country. DePaul is next on Sunday on Channel 13. Uh, your thoughts on that? They want revenge. Well, with a double overtime victory there in Chicago, you know, our guys are going to be prepared and ready. I mean, we've got to win every conference game from here on out if we're going to have a chance to win the conference. And that's what we're focusing on right now. Coach Finch has stressed that we want to win the league and go into the Great Midwest Tournament with a lot of momentum. And uh, the Great Midwest is now a lot closer. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Memphis State now just a game back in the Great Midwest. That game on Valentine's Day certainly won't be lovey-dovey. Tune in on Channel 13. We'll be there, Eric. You know it. Second-ranked Kentucky now visiting 14th-ranked Arkansas. Go to Fayetteville. And why is he smiling? Nolan Richardson is laughing because Arkansas wins it tonight. Big. 14th-ranked Arkansas. Scotty Thurman here. Good. They kick Kentucky the final 101-94. to The upset special. 14th-ranked Arkansas over second ranked Kentucky. Now tonight in Nashville, Vandy a winner. 89-59 over Ole Miss. Tennessee in two overtimes wins at South Carolina. LSU beats Mississippi State. Southwestern Louisiana by two over Arkansas State. Cincinnati beating Marquette by two in the great Midwest. And St. Louis 116-66 to over Chicago State. Of course, we'll show you DePaul at Memphis State Sunday here on WHBQ at 1230. On to ice tonight, Memphis River Kings take on Tulsa. Go to the Mid-South Coliseum where the visitors score. Handling the puck, Tulsa working it around. The shot won't go, but the rebound later is good. And Tulsa takes Memphis 6-2 to on the ice for Tulsa. Former River King Doug Lawrence in on the play there. The River Kings are practicing right now. You can see the practice for free at the Mid-South. Steve Carlson has them skating in a post-game practice. Next up, they'll be playing Friday night. That's marriage night for the River Kings. And the upsets tonight in tennis. Let's go to the tape and show you as we get tight. The St. Jude International tight for the champions tonight. The former champion, St. Jude International champ Malave Washington of Ponte Vida, Florida, rocked by... Dave Randall here, the kid that his hometown is Tupelo, and former Memphian Dave Randall wins it tonight. He defeats Malavea Washington. Hey, um, I feel like I'm hitting the ball really well, really aggressively. Uh, um, I feel like I'm getting in better shape and I'm being able to, to last longer and uh, set up better from all my shots and everything. And so I'm playing really well. Just losing the match is, is a setback. You know, I'm going to be out tomorrow. Practicing again, uh, just like I always do, getting ready for Philly. Hmm. Not much sweat for Jim Courier because this isn't Jim. No wonder he wasn't sweating. That's Michael Chang, and he's a winner tonight. Also, Jim Courier won his upset city there with Malave Washington going down Byron and Claudia. But he's headed to Philly, and he says maybe some good things will happen next week. Well, okay. you know, upsets happen. Kroger yeah, St. Jude right. International. <laughs> That's right. right. Thanks. Next up on 13 Eyewitness News, live at 10. Mike Osterhage looks into the aspects of love, but only as a spectator. <laughs> Make this a Valentine's Day she'll remember all year long with roses, beautiful, timeless roses from Kroger.
America's largest florist. Tea roses, colorful sweetheart roses, or surprise her with dazzling mums, a stunning assortment, or any one of dozens of fresh-cut mixed bouquets. All at the floral shop at Kroger. See the difference. Go Krogering. What better Valentine's Day surprise than elegant long-stemmed roses? Ritual is celebrating our third anniversary. Yes, in three short years, Ritual has grown to eight locations thanks to you, Mid-South. Ritual is celebrating with wall-to-wall -wall savings on brand names you know and trust, like Bassett, Lazy Boy, Howard Miller, and Rastonic Mattresses, manufactured in our own factory. To make this anniversary even more exciting, Ritual has arranged special financing with six months, same as cash. Plus, Ritual will pay the sales tax. Ritual Bassett Gallery. Now, eight convenient locations. There's my rug that I um, went to another store and it was twice the price. That is it right there, the same exact rug. I have a Walmart bathroom upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> then I have my rug down here, downstairs with my computer stand and my, my bookshelf. All the girls at work, they, they tease me all the time. <laughs> I say, guess what great deal I found? They call me Queen Walmart. <laughs> Monday through Friday, Shoney's Breakfast Bar is only $2.99. It's for a limited time, so you better hurry. You should dress first. How many bowls of this cereal would it take to equal the nutritional value of the fresh fruit, eggs, grits, and bacon on Shoney's Breakfast Bar? Well, it depends on how big your bowl is. I like my raisin bran. I like raisins. Is this new? I mean, total raisin bran? Mmm. This is good. Wow. Total raisin bran has 100% of all these vitamins and minerals. And Kellogg's has 100% of only one. You're always wondering if you're getting enough vitamins. This is incredible. Total raisin bran. The raisin bran with the total difference. Nice raisins, too. Should you pack an umbrella tomorrow? Let's ask Jim. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. We've got uh, about a half an inch of rain to go through with this particular storm system that started late today. 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, rain with a temperature of 50 degrees, winds from the southeast at 10 miles per hour, and then rain the rest of the day with a high of 55 and southeast winds at 13. Needless to say, slick streets, so take it easy out there. Please. Thanks, Jim. And now the answer to tonight's Q quiz question. What's the most used seasoning in the world? Of course, salt. Valentine's Day. It's just around the corner, and if you want to learn more about the aspects of love, it's playing at the Orpheum. Oh, okay. Mike Ostrage spoke with a couple of the show's stars this morning. This is literally a story about love, and as the title states, it covers all of the aspects of love. And how each one will eventually overlap, whether they want it to or not. If she loves him and he loves her, then eventually she'll have to meet her, and they might love each other. <laughs> it, 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 it is. Life. It is basically based on life. That's what makes this very enjoyable to do. Something else that makes this interesting for Lori and Whitney is the character they play. We play What's the same like? person. <laughs> well, I, I play her three years earlier. I play 12 and she plays I play 15. 15. And, um, well, it's obviously a challenge for us considering we're both adults. Aspects of Love is another in the long line of great musicals from composer Andrew Lloyd Webber. And being in one of his productions is something both of these actresses really enjoy. For me, it's a dream come true. Yeah, I'm waiting to do Evita. <laughs> I'm waiting to do Evita. <laughs> For me, it just, it's, he's been basically my favorite composer of all time. Mr. Webber even came to one of their performances. Well, we didn't find out until half hour. Oh, and by the way, Andrew Lloyd Webber's here. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Aspects of Love runs through Valentine's Day at the Orpheum. With arts and entertainment, Mike Osterhage, 13 Eyewitness News, live at 10. Aspects of Love. That's how you do it. Just work your way up right up to Evita. There you go. <laughs> That's our 10 o'clock report. Well, I'll be back tomorrow, live at 6, everybody. Take care. See you then.